education component in from CUNY. We have Brother Sandor, longtime activist in these here streets. Come on up, brother. Thank you. My name is Chandra John, and I'm a member of the faculty staff union at the City University of New York. I'm speaking here in a personal capacity. I'm also a supporter of class struggle education workers and the internationalist group, the CUNY Internationalist Clubs. Now, I taught labor history for a lot of years. And a situation like this makes me think about something that one of the great revolutionary figures of unionism and of the revolutionary movement in this country and of labor history, Joe Hill, wrote a long time ago. And he said, when the workers take a notion, they can stop all speeding trains. Every ship upon the ocean, they can bind in iron chains because that's the power of labor, which is to shut it down. Now, when the president of the capitalist government of the United States, their government, their capitalist government, Joe Biden, right, said that invoking this anti-labor strike breaking law that in notorious 1926 Railway Labor Act was necessary because a train worker's strike could paralyze the economy. Well, you're damn right it could. And what he is admitting is he's admitting that the railways and the economy runs on the abuse of workers like them. Without sick days, with dangerous conditions, dying on the job, goddammit, right? But we can bust their union-busting laws, like the National Railway Act, like the Taft-Hartley Act, like the Taylor Law, which makes it supposedly illegal for our brothers and sisters, the transit workers, to go on strike. And it makes it supposedly illegal for us at the City University to go on strike. But we need to get together and bust that union-busting law by shutting it down. Now, shutting it down means the type of power that we see in potential here of the rail workers and the MTA workers and the Teamsters, am I right? Yeah. Teamsters got a contract coming up soon. So do we at CUNY, okay? And the dock workers to unite together to shut it down. Now, I want to say a couple more real quick things. I thought what Brother Chris Silvera said about the flim flam is really important. This Democratic Party scam, flim flam, all right? Now, this is not the first time that the Democratic Party has busted a strike or tried to. Jimmy Carter invoked the Taft-Hartley law against the coal miners, right? My father-in-law was a coal miner, and they used to say, you can't dig coal with bayonets, and you can't run the trains with bayonets either. So let me ask you a question. Is Joe Biden a strike breaker? Yes. Is the Congress of the United States strike breakers? Yes. Is the Democratic Party strike breakers? Yes. Well, what about the so-called squad? Are we going to remain silent about that? No. Are we going to remain silent about the DSA squad that voted for this? No. Hell no. We need to break from the Democrats and the Republicans and build a fighting workers party. And then we will take over the whole damn country and the world. Workers to power. <laughs>